Hello and greetings fellow survivors and welcome to Miss Survival. This will be our first impressions of this. I have a couple of viewers uh, ask about this one and it's gotten mostly actually positive reviews on Steam so far. Over about a 500 or so. So that that seems good already. Uh, it is one done by one developer. Ready? I cannot pronounce that last name. I'm not even going to try. It is a long one. But so, so far, one developer, a little, eh, that's kind of scary. Remember, this is early access. Alpha, so bugs, craziness will happen. But let's pop into a new game. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about this one, but I am quite good at the survival genre. And it looks, does look like it is zombie, though. So I'm always a big fan of the zombie. All right, NKT, continue. Let's see what we got. He's using the Unreal Engine as well. Three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. Uh, a mysterious thing or things. Many areas of the world were covered by mysterious mist. Many people got sick and died. People who survived without immunity had side effects. Came something ferocious and I cannot read that fast. You have immunity and survived at that time. The camp where you lived is currently attacked by some creature which you've never seen before. You survived the attack and run away. There's some grammar issues, but I don't believe this is an English speaking developer, so that's okay. Okay, basic survival guide. I like the tutorials and stuff in the beginning. That's nice. All right, stamina regeneration will slow down when fatigue value is low. Sleep or rest. Yeah, I do believe there are sleeping and time passing mechanic as well. Press 7 to sleep on the ground. You know what, Roddy? You, you already you got me right there. That's one of my one cause about the long dark is you can't sleep on, like, you just can't sleep on the ground. That's a little weird. But, all right, okay, that's easy enough. Shelter management. By observing the house symbol. Okay, whenever the shelter command mode, you can change to the base shelter. Man survivors in your camp. I do believe that this is single player at the moment. Missed event. The appearance of each frog is covered by some events. Players might be prepared. Oh, so kind of like invading, I guess. Can come out outdoors only at night or when there is no sun. Also, hunt when the fog is covered. Traveling the fog is quite dangerous. Okay. This does have seasons as well, I believe. Yeah, it's a spring, summer, fall, winter, etc. Bow and arrow. For hunting can be used without noise. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, arrows are always good. Okay, you can switch arrows while using the bow, pressing R. Okay. Oh, alright, we're in. With the frame rate, actually pretty good. I do see a little bit of motion blur, but... Okay, we got a saw. This is my camp. Alright, well, I'm on... Okay, so, permission none. So it does kind of seem like that would set up for multiplayer later on. Uh, shelter command, what do we got? My house is set as a base. Okay, we really got nothing going on for there. Alright, upgrade inventory. The inventory slot has been upgraded by two slots. Nice, we do have that. And we got the loot. <laughs> we got the loot. I'm going to take that. Okay, so let's get out of that. And B for base building. Basic fire. I like how you're going with this so far. That's that's nice. Throwing rack. Cooking pots, grill stands. Water barrel. Water purifier generator. I'm looking at just a basic shelter would be nice right now. Stump. Okay, so you can reduce work time for that. Workbench. That's probably going to need quite a bit. Basic shelter. I think that's what we're going to have. Small cabin, we're going to need wood, components, and nails. Lights. And I'm not sure if we get advanced crafting later on. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I, didn't, I just noticed the side stuff. So is there side stuff on this one? Oh, yeah, we can get fences. For livestock. Nice. Chicken coop. And for a fridge. Ten storage slot. Some lockers. Very nice. Also traps, which we can't unlock yet, it looks like. Well, alright, I guess we're gonna go... Can I just start sawing on things? Okay, it's not gonna be one of those where I can just do that. Alright. Saws for crafting tools. 
Okay, this is the kind of stuff we can just do basic crafting. But I think we do need that. But I need logs first. But I need a hatchet before I can get the logs. Okay. Alright, so we're probably going to hope if we can find some stuff. Alright, let's go explore. Is there a map, per se? No. Okay, wait. Looks like we got a little farm over there. Guess we're going to take our, take our luck. What do we got? Blueberry. Oh, nice. Blueberry. I am already kind of digging this game. Cream rain is coming off all right. Don't see a map though, so we got to remember where we, where we have our base. Ooh, a tractor. Okay. Wondering right now, I feel like there's going to be a jump scare. Ooh, and there's a building. Let's focus on this for now. This is pretty close. Wow. Done by one guy, too. I gotta say I'm kind of impressed. This is already a tad better than a lot of the junk I play in Early Access. Okay, can I get gas out of you or anything? Can I use you at all? No. And do I have any skill tree, anything like that? No. Okay. It's about 10 a.m. About 22 degrees. The meters aren't stack they aren't going down horribly. At those Okay, Jesus, chicken. Metal scraps. Ooh, I got a cola. Can we grab that chicken? Could I murder that chicken? Nah, that chicken's running away. Perhaps so we could catch chickens. Oh, that would be nice. Go check out the barn. Yeah, we need to get a hatchet or something. We'll start chopping some stuff down. Also, weirdly, one thing I will mention. The game also asks for access to the internet. Which is a single player game. Which I always find kind of weird. I think I might just have something to do. Okay, we've got a rag. Something to do with the Unreal Engine itself, I guess. Empty bottle. Combat knife. So, can I put that in my... I can. Can I put you in there? No. Or maybe. No, it's really just... The knife is in pretty crappy condition, though. But so we do have a light as well. Got some protection, a couple rags. Is there anything even remotely close by? I say no, so let's go up to this house area. I can murder me a chicken. If we could. Did it. Did it, did it. I'm gonna sneak up on this chicken. Nope, the AI is actually pretty good, that chicken. Alright, let's run a little bit. So at night, I'm feeling like this game is going to get pretty hectic. Let's go up. Ooh, looks like we have a couple farmhouses. It's a barn to check out. It's a couple barns, actually. What is that over there? We do know they have cars in this game. Well, let's try that out. There ain't nothing we can use, it looks like. Can I... Can I drive this car? Okay. Oh, it's got no gas. Well, I could have told you that. Okay, so we're gonna need some gas. Like, that has grass going through the floor. I don't know if I drive with that. Looks like there's a little tent in the car as well. 
let's get into the house. Probably just video getting done. Um, maybe you have some gas. I thought I saw something in there. Oh, crap. Alright. So, houses could possibly be hostile stuff. Whoa. Oh! Ah! And... Ooh. The can't be robbed. Ow. Okay, so we lost our combat knife and we lost our saw. That is... Ow! Can we make some bandages, maybe? Oh, I need some booze. About a few months to winter. Alright, so definitely... Definitely severe wounds. That's going to take time to heal as well. Stones. So definitely we're trying to scavenge and survive, etc. We're going to be beginning, at the very least, be very... Because hand knife does not work. And the mist is out as well. I guess they can come out in the mist. I wish it was kind of a little bit of a mapping feature, though. Maybe something we could find later on. It does look like we can see a car over there. Let's definitely maybe avoid that house. I'm going to just remember where, they, where our base is. Okay, ooh, what do we got? Opponents. That is creepy noises. I do not like uh, creepy noises. Yeah, loot all is fine, except we don't have anything. Can I get in? No. No, even though there's something in the pot, there's no actual food to be had. I don't feel like we need like a ton more stones. Oh, that's creepy as hell. Yeah, we're at no, no gas. Whoa, okay. Now I already see it. Ah! Okay, run. Just run. We are no match for those guys. I know you're bleeding. Straight up fight, we're not gonna admit. Eh, eh. Yeah, down. Two hits. Okay. And we lost some of our stuff. Ouch. All right, well, gotta learn to definitely bag some stuff, apparently. But, ow, all right, we'll actually drink that. Okay. Maybe I want to rest a little bit. Just a couple hours is fine. Hope didn't actually go up that much. But we're still healing from that wound. Oh, but it looks like it's a little nicer out. Okay. So what do we learn, kids? Also, don't go out during the mist. Like at all. There's some buildings over there, though. I think we're gonna kinda just amscray over this way. Blueberries? Excellent. 
So I'm kind of liking it. I, I would like a map feature at some point. Uh, but I don't know. It's got, it's got nice mechanics. Okay, so there are no... Eh, lack of a better word, zombies. Because that's what it is. And the zombies are pretty much... This is very stealthy, but though it's stealth... I'm not sure how quite that works yet. Right, buildings. Could be a bad idea. Also, this building is just empty. Okay. We'll go see. Nope, just empty building. Maybe just a unity asset, I'd imagine. Metal scraps. I think that's about it. All we can, even though that looks like rags, I cannot take that. What do we got? Who can fruit and bandages? Yes, nice. Just got some sugar. Now, is this individual? Okay, it is individual ones. So, weirdly not the last one you cannot get. That's weird. Uh, anyway, I'm got a couple little goodies. Yeah, I got this knife really hasn't helped too much. Okay. Bad dumpster, maybe. Nope. All right. The components. Oh, we might have it upstairs, actually. Okay, interesting design on that. Ooh, 9mm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Every wound is starting to heal. Okay, now, now life has gotten better. Electronic parts, some more rags. Don't look anything in here we can access. So now we're wounded, but we're still self-healing. Alright, not too bad. Got secret tools. We'll have to go back to the base and see. Don't want to get too far off the beaten track. Well, we can go down a little bit. I guess you probably never really know when the mist is coming either. So I'll say it's a pretty game. Uh, no trouble thus far. 60 frames. Uh, running the sun on the ultra settings. What is that? Okay, now, now you got me a little bit, game. A little bit intrigued. Are there NPCs? I'm not entirely sure. If anything, this is where we should have our camp. Got nice strong walls. So imagine where we could build probably theoretically anywhere. It wouldn't be a bad place, probably. Some more more defensible eventually. Looks like we can't get out that way. Can 
Getting the RVs. Or are we full? Oh, I am full. As long as we get those backpack upgrades. Yeah, we're gonna have to head back. It's a little bit of a limited inventory. Oh yeah, I'm totally full. Let's kind of head back at an angle. See if there's anything new we can see. Don't think we can get up there. Because always a good survival tactic you can use in games is just falling power lines. Eventually it does lead to something good. My favorite game, I can't even remember the name anymore. I was in early access for a number of years and just never went anywhere. So hopefully I'm just we'll see. This one was this one's already better than that one, but it was just a lot of zombies. And there's some interesting crafting and stuff in open area, but it was just really chicken. Get out of here. Murder you chicken. Murder you chicken. Ah Come on. Get it. Oh, we actually get it. we can't kill him. We gotta catch him. So we gotta have empty hands. Yes. Catch your chicken. I don't know what we're gonna do with them, but come on. Come on. No. Oh, okay. Dang it. So close. We have stick. Oh, we found sticks and feathers now too. There's that house where we'd probably get murdered at, so maybe not so much do that. There's plenty of sticks to find as well. And at least it doesn't have you beating trees for wood. Ooh, a little bit of an outpost too. I gotta be honest. I have no idea where our base is now. I have no clue. I like kind of like the forest where they had a you know little beacon you could set for a flag so you'd know where your stuff is. This one I have no idea. Also not a bad price tag on this one now currently just ow okay that was kind of dumb. The game does have fall the damage. Game does have fall damage. Definitely the self-healing is rather slow. Oh, so, oh 12 gauge. Oh, I want the... Tw I don't imagine there's going to be anything in there. Beef can. Let's at least drop off this stuff. Now, I think our home is that way. We'll have to see. So far, quite it looks like quite a big area to play in. Though I'm gonna say I imagine nothing beyond this mountain has any content. Like I imagine this is probably your area, but it is a rather big area. Oh yeah, I, I'm totally lost now. And also a bear. Run! Not like this! Not like this! Okay, did I get him? Okay. Never mind. Okay, same tactics work like they do in the long dark. Ish. I think the AI just got wandered off. I honestly have no idea where our base is now. Let's look at our stats, see if I could actually... Do we have any food or anything we can take care of? Well, I guess we could eat that just to get that out of the way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. 
that leaves us. Just in case. Oh, we actually do have logs. Okay, nice. You can kind of scavenge, you don't have to have those supplies necessarily right away. By the way, that was a bad idea! Bad idea! Ah! Screw you, bear! See? Oh, I was hoping there would be a gun up here, too. Nah, not such luck, unfortunately. Just some wood, though. More components. I don't think the bear is going to forget about that, unfortunately. And actually, as far as he got zombies, and I think we have about bears, the only thing I have seen so far. Oh, can that become more wounded if I... Or can I not just for a while after, I guess? So it kind of limits my running as it were. Yeah, I gotta admit, I am completely lost. Have an okay time though. For ten bucks, this is not a bad deal. Uh, it's one of these ones where I would say wait and see a bit. Uh, definitely wait and see. About half an hour in the game. I feel like we have hit a majority of the map though. Uh, that's what I can tell because the it's it's a big pull in the mountain region it seems. And I just don't know yet. I'll play this a little bit on the stream too as well. But it's a lot of stuff to kind of do in the beginning. Once you get your stuff and your crafted stuff up, though, I feel like there you're going to be sitting here uh, waiting for an update by one developer. So that could definitely be a while. I am impressed what they have done so far, though, for an opening shot. Not bad. Uh, lacking a couple of balancing issues, etc. But yeah, not bad. And actually, one plus one because it actually does run okay. Uh, I don't always get that in early access. But yeah, this leg thing is... Yeah, that's going to be a while. Cannot run too much on that. Can run a little bit, but... Ladies and gentlemen, I don't give this thumbs up, but maybe a partial thumbs up. Uh, Ten bucks. Uh, you're not going to lose out a whole lot if it goes bad, but I don't want to recommend it just yet, because I feel like it is kind of lacking in deeper content. You always want to try to get your money's worth. So I say, maybe put this on your wish list. And see how it develops. And I'll check on this game periodically, of course, throughout its early access. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It's helped a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.